Okay, so hello everyone. Um, that's Lorinda in the background. I think you can see her. Hey. So this video is not really spur. Well, what I'm doing is not spur of the moment, but deciding to record it has been spur of the moment. Um, I'm have I'm gonna have Lorinda be my cameraman in a second, but we're dyeing my hair purple. Now, since I've been on YouTube, I did dye my hair teal and purple, so you saw that. Well, you didn't see me doing it, but you saw me with teal and purple hair. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. I will say this. I've gone to cosmetology school. This is not how I would do someone else's. Like This is just my in the house, do it my own way with what I have. You know, this is not the professional way, but it's my hair. I'm, I'm going to bleach it, and I'm going to make it this is purple rage I was gonna do orange as well but I'm not this is a rinse it's a semi-permanent hair color and um, I don't use box colors on my hair because I change the color too much and they're a little bit too much too harsh but um I'll just show you my materials and we're gonna I'm not gonna do the whole thing front to back but like I'm just we're gonna pause and play in steps of what I got to do so I'm bleaching it with have my gloves here and I'm um, using the Clairol Professional. This is a powder lightener. I'm using that, and I'm using. I have two of them here. I just bought. I bought two of them. Um, I probably won't use one, but I actually have some fake hair that I'm going to make a ponytail with, and so I'm going to bleach and dye that as well. Some tracks. So I'll show you that uh, in the video, maybe. Anyways, I have that. And the developer is the Clairol Professional Pure White Cream Developer. And it's 40 because I want maximum lift because I want, um, yeah, the brightest white I can get or the lightest blonde. And my hair has never gotten white. And my dye, I have a bowl, have some ponies to section off my hair. Um, and I don't know why that brush is right there. And I have a brush. I don't have a hair brush, a uh, uh, hair applicator, so I'm using a paintbrush for some parts. Most of the parts I'm just going to use my hand, though. So, that is it, and, um, yeah, let me see what else. So, I'm going to section off my hair into four sections, and I'll come back to you when I'm starting to put the bleach in, or when I'm mixing it, so. You're just getting this, are you? All right. Okay, so, I'm going to start to mix my, um, developer. Now, the directions say, where is it? Um, make some instructions. It usually okay. The bigger ones don't say it, but it's usually about. I have pure white here, so I have pure white. You gotta look at what you have. I have pure white, not clairoxide, and I'm using 40 volume. And 40 volume isn't even on here because I'm doing the highest one. So it's about one and a half ounces. I'm doing about two, and I actually do it. I kind of eyeball it because. I get it. Make sure it's the right consistency for me. I don't know. I've just been doing it and bleaching my hair for years, ways though. It's just whatever works for me. So, we got our bowl. Let's put it in. Always make sure you have them like clothes you don't mind getting messed up. Or, I do have my earrings in and my jewelry in, and I'm not worrying about my piercings or anything like that because I'm pretty careful. But, um, as far as the clothes, you need to be really careful. So, and I pour a bit. About that much. You don't want it too liquidy yet. You don't want it too thick. And we start to mix. And that's too thick, of course. So, we add more. You want it smooth yet thick. Kind of like... Maybe yogurt or smoothie or something like that. You don't want to be able to see any powder in it though. So, mix. And a lot of people stretch it and they'll put, um, I'll do a little bit more liquid and this is a pretty good consistency. Yep. And this just works for me. Like I said, I would not do someone else's hair. Like just this, like late, don't care situation. I know my hair. Someone else, you got to be a little bit more careful. If you don't know their hair, I know my hair. So and that's what you got, and that's your bleach. So I'll be right back, and I'll do one section on camera, and then um, I'll do the rest. So I'll be back. Okay. So as you can see, I've already done three fourths of it. I did all of this, and it's been what, Lorena? It's been less than ten minutes yeah. since I've started. It doesn't take long. This is maximum lift. It doesn't take long for it to um, start to work. 
Uh, I'll just talk to you while I'm doing this. So I'm not wasting time. Um, burning. It does not burn. I don't want you to... It's not like a relaxer or anything. It doesn't burn. Um, I just literally put it in with my fingers. I try not to get it on my scalp. You, yeah, you don't get it on your scalp. I get it as close to the roots as possible. I do do my roots first and not my ends. Because my, my roots... I mean, my roots, not everybody else's, but my roots are pretty resistant. So, and that's just the way I do it. Uh, my ends are green because you guys know I'm always dying my hair. So, my ends are always green. And they'll just turn, as you can see, a lighter, lighter, lighter green. Which I think will give the purple um, some dimension anyway. But as you can see me putting this on, you will see it lighten up before your eyes. I'm not going <coughs> to say Lorinda's coughing over the bleach. <laughs> I'm used to the smell. It does stink like yeah, hell. Here. It not it doesn't irritate you. It just stinks. That's why I'm coughing. Yeah, it, it stinks. And then the powder's flying in the air too. So it smells like it's pure bleach. Pure concentrated, I guess. So. That and I else? always do around the edges. Yeah, I need a little bit more powder. I always do around the edges first. Cause I like to wear my hair up, you know. I like to wear my hair up and back a lot, so I feel like those areas need more. Um, those areas need more love. See, I have another packet, and this is older, and it's open, and I don't know where it. Oh, there's a hole right there. I won't need this whole packet though. So. I might have to get some more to dye my tracks so that'll probably be another video guys because I gotta go to the store and get some more bleach not not uh liquid just the powder get some more because I am using a lot because I haven't bleached my hair since I did it blue we when was that last semester no semester before last so it's been a while so it's been a while so it's not burning but my my hair is starting to itch Scratching may not be the best idea. <clears throat> so I gotta hurry up. Just one little spot itching, and it's gonna bother me. So, that's probably. And I will say this: after you bleach your hair, when you're dealing with bleached hair, even after you put in the color on it, a key that I always do: deep condition your hair. Conditioner will put that softness back into your hair. You can see. You can see what I'm doing. Basically, using my fingers, getting it into those areas that needs to be lightened. And you can see it'll lighten right before your eyes. So. And it gets a little warm. Not hot. It just gets a little warm. The processing. And I just feel it. That makes sense. Some people warm. Like, I can't explain <laughs> it. But, um, that means it's working. Hey. No, no burning at all. If you feel burning, wash it out immediately. That's not good. That could mean not make. It doesn't mean that the bleach something wrong with that. You may have a sore in your head, or you know, open wound or something that the chemicals, yeah, chemicals have gotten into, and that's why it's burning. It doesn't mean the bleach is burning your head off. Or not like that. You can have like an open wound or a scratch or something in your scalp. You scratch your scalp. If you were scratching your hair a lot before this, kind of like a relaxer, that's not a great thing to do. Not a great thing to do. So you can see in comparison to the other three. So I got a piece of hair in the front of my face and I can see it, but I can't get it. There it is. So as you can see in the front, like see from these sections how light it's going to get and how this is changing and in that transition. So I'll be back to you once it's fully lightened before I'm going to wash it out. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty much light. Like light all around. It's not going to get too much lighter than this. This was the last section so maybe it's slightly bit darker but it's fine. I like some of the darker pieces like, like up in there, the darker areas. It'll give the purple a little bit more dimension. So... Now, when I did my teal and teal and purple hair, I had like purple and teal and had pieces. I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna be all purple. I was thinking about it, but it just takes too much. So I'm gonna next time I see you back here, I'll have this rinsed out and washed, and I'll start to apply the purple. So I'll see you back. Okay. So this is it rinsed out. I put a little bit of conditioner in. I'm gonna deep condition it. Um, after I put the color in, but this is basically what we have. Uh, bleached. 
blonde hair, like bright, bright blonde hair with, um, sorry y'all, something my with, uh, green ends. The green, ooh, ooh the stepped on the cat. <laughs> the green ends are never really going to get fully, fully blonde, um, simply because they're just kind of damaged and just, what is in my eye? Just, that's just how it's going to be. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show it to you and I think I should come right back with the color. I'll come right back with the color. All right. Okay. okay. So again, I'm using a door um, number one sixteen purple rage. Uh, this is no alcohol, no peroxide, no ammonia because I just put bleach in my hair. So you don't want to put all those other chemicals in your hair. It's semi permanent. It's basically other, um, also known as like a rinse, a rinse hair color. So and you can use these. You don't have to bleach your hair. I bleach this because I want the most vibrant, um, the most vibrant results possible. So I bleach it first, but like if you, you, they have black ones if you want just a black wash on your hair, everything like that. Every time I talk on the camera, something go in my eye and I don't understand. So what I do is I literally just put it in there. Shake it up. And by I'm not doing anything special, like, you know, any highlights or anything like that, I can just dump it in there. So, and remember your hair is darker when it's wet, so whatever it looks like. See the purple? Whatever it looks like, it is going to be brighter than that once my hair is dry. Hair is always darker when it's wet, so... As you can see, that's what we got to work with. And so I just put it in. I just start, and I'll come back when it's finished. Not on? Okay. So this is what it looks like. I put it all in. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. If you want, you can put a plastic cap on, put the heat on it, but I don't do all that. It's going to take. It's going to be purple enough. Um, so I'm going to clean up my area. Next time you see me, I, it'll be rinsed out. You'll need to see it rinsed out. It's going to be blow dry. I'll, I'll show you once I fully blow dry. Once it's dry in the full color. And um, then I'll style it. And so, see you in a bit. Okay. So I blow dried it. And so this is the final color. This is the purple that we're working with. But, um, it need to be styled. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so that's much better. I flat ironed it, and I don't really like the back, so I'm not going to show you. Not the color, but just, I got to go over it some more with the flat iron, but basically, as you can see the color, I guess you, you can get close. Like, see how it's not just one solid purple, but my hair having a little bit of green in it. Some parts were lighter than others. It did give it a little bit of dimension. Almost gives it like a hint of um, pink in there. Almost like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. This is my back-to-school color. Um share with you my process. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you'll see more videos. I'll do more videos before school starts and you'll see the hair in diff different styles. I'll try to do another video of me dyeing the tracks. If not, I'll just tell you about it in the video. But that's basically it. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.